Look, I agree with you on pretty much everything you say when you talk about, you know, the trans stuff. Like, what other people do is none of my business and we should all just leave each other alone, right? Where I think we have to draw a reasonable line in the sand is with kids. You know, like, let people be people, sure. But first, we gotta let kids be kids. And what do you mean when you say that? I mean, what I said, you know, we gotta let kids be kids, right? But what does that mean specifically in the context of this conversation? Well, look, let's say I got a kid and she really likes tigers. Should I let her tattoo a bunch of tiger stripes all over her face and body? Probably not, right? If she wants to do that as an adult, that's fine. But I'm gonna make sure that as a kid, she stays a kid. So we don't have a problem of millions of kids telling their families that they feel on a deeply personal level that they are actually tigers and that living as a human and not a tiger causes them deep psychological and often physical pain and that they might not want to literally be alive anymore if they can't be tigers. Likewise, we don't have a long tradition spanning the entire history of our species of people desiring to live their lives as tigers and be recognized by their communities as tigers. It's an analogy. Yeah, I'm just saying it's a terrible one. Look, people are out here trying to do certain procedures and treatments with kids who think they might be trans. And I'm just saying there could be some irreversible damage being done. You don't think it's possible to do irreversible damage to trans kids by forcing them to be cisgender? You don't think we have a long, well-documented history of people doing irreversible damage to queer kids by trying to force heteronormativity on them? Well, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not talking about forcing anyone to do anything. I'm just saying, you know, let kids Let be. kids be kids, right, I heard you. So here's what you actually mean when you say that, whether you're aware of it or not. When you say, let kids be kids, you are actually saying, I think we should force queer kids to present in heteronormative ways until they are adults. No, yes. Actually, that's the only thing you could possibly be saying because if you were okay with trans kids being trans and gay kids being gay, then we wouldn't be having this conversation. Look, I'm just saying, let kids be kids. No, that's what I'm saying. You're saying, let kids be kids, if and only if they are the kinds of kids that don't make me feel uncomfortable in some way. I'm saying, let kids be kids, period. No caveat, because unlike you, I want cisgender kids to be cisgender kids, and I want transgender kids to be transgender kids. I want straight kids to be straight kids. I want gay and bi and pan and ace kids to be gay and bi and pan and ace. I want little scrawny kids like me when I was a kid to be scrawny and not feel bad about that, and I want fat kids to be fat without weird adults trying to instill shame in them for simply existing in a certain kind of body that some people in the world have. I want kids to be kids in whatever form they happen to show up in. You want kids to be a very specific type of kid that adheres to some arbitrary bullshit ideal of normalcy that you've decided is best because you haven't done the work of fully unpacking all the internalized societal propaganda you've been fed since you were born. So, you know, just knock it off, okay? Just knock all that shit all the way the fuck off, okay? Okay. Okay.